absolutely no way I could have studied in Cambridge if it hadn't been for the Gates Fund. I'm from Ukraine and if not for Gates Cambridge Trust, I wouldn't be able to afford it to come and study here. It's always been a backbone of my research, this idea that there's some social justice component to any project that's ultimately going to matter. So the Gates Trust was a natural fit. All of us have a commitment to equity. Basically, again, making sure that everybody around the world sort of gets an equal chance at life. We need to work together, and maybe that's why we're all here together as Gates Scholars. In a word, the Gates Cambridge Trust meant opportunity. I would never be able to go as far as uh, being at the level of the world uh, cutting edge research. And it is extremely exciting to be here. In October 2000, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation announced a donation to the University of Cambridge of $210 million to establish the Gates Cambridge Trust. This endowment creates in perpetuity an international scholarship program to enable outstanding graduate students from outside the United Kingdom to study at Cambridge. One of the ways to make the world a better place is to have more smarter, energetic people in it. And that is a direct consequence of this program and others like it. That's not all. The Trust sets out to mirror the values of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which includes a commitment to reducing inequality and improving lives around the world. You and I want the world to be a better place. We want it to be better for us, but more than that, we're very anxious that it be better for as near to everybody as we can possibly make it. What makes the Gates Cambridge Scholarships different is that they put huge emphasis on intellectual ambition, uh, being informed really by strong ethical concerns about how knowledge can be used for the benefit of society at large and that education brings with it a responsibility for leadership in these matters. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that really attracted me uh, to the Gates program as opposed to a couple of other ones I was looking at was the fact that the value really was driven on people who were focused on making a difference and on also being able to articulate how what they were doing mattered and where the potential could be for the real world benefiting by them you know, sitting in a room crunching their numbers, doing their lab work, whatever it might have been. I don't think that there are many scholarships where you have an entire or, or large percentage of the scholars who are deeply concerned with not just doing excellent work, but doing excellent work that's relevant uh, and relevant to pressing problems in the world today. And that's really gratifying. On your own, there might be a project that you have which might be fantastic, but in terms of moving fast, the way it moving as fast as we need to in malaria. Um, we need to work together, and maybe that's why we're all here together as Gate Scholars, like forming this network and where we can contribute to one another. We go into the world slightly more uh, prepared for dealing with real life issues on the ground. And I think that, that's why, it, in the end, it's, that's what we are Gate Scholars for. That is, that's the sort of challenge we've taken up. It's very important for us. Yeah. But the, the Gates was really focused on creating this network of people who, even once we're done with our time here, um, can continue to work together to really change the world in positive ways. Uh, part of, the, uh, of this particular project is to ensure that we create a network of scholars within Cambridge uh, and that that network carries, will carry on uh, through, through the, all their lives. Many, many of my friends in Cambridge during my Cambridge time were actually Gates scholars and I remain in, in close touch with them. The Gates Scholar Alumni Association was set up in 2005. It aims to build on bonds created at Cambridge and form a strong and lasting network of future leaders who work together to make significant contributions to the global community. As an alumni, um, I think that the values that the Gates Foundation has, sort of reducing inequality, 
um, in a way that can be used around the world, not just in a local academic environment. Um, I use those regularly. So essentially with the work that I do, looking at rehabilitating the brain, um, the discoveries that we make here have um, a financial impact, you know, keeping people out of hospitals and, and in their homes. It's also an emotional one where people can actually function and feel um, like they're contributing to society instead of taking from it because we're able to rehabilitate and allow them to lead uh, more fulfilling lives. I'm an engineer and uh, engineering doesn't sound like it would change immediately people's lives for better. Um, however, if you think about it, uh, bringing a more energy efficient technology and uh, more accessible technology uh, to poorer countries, for example, if you can produce cheap laptop computers and give them to schools, this is perfect. You can actually really visibly change lives. It was and is very important to me to, to uh, do more than just uh, do a career, but I'd really like to, to uh, as they say, do, do well and do good. Um, which is also the reason why I then joined the Environmental Technologies Fund as uh, this combines business with uh, a positive impact on the world. Part of the reason I chose to work with the Medical Research Council is that as government employees we're in a position to influence policy decisions. So when the government wants to consult people about the impact their decisions will make, they come to the Medical Research Council and it's really enjoyable to be able to have an impact at that level. We are at the moment, since we're a very young program, we are just setting up an alumni association and an alumni network and working out how we can keep track of people and how they can keep track. Uh, of us uh, and I think in 15-20 um, years time this should be a very vibrant and important network. We believe that what you're doing is producing effective thoughtful leadership. It may seem small but you know over 20 years we're talking about quite a few thoughtful, sophisticated, well-motivated leaders and that it's as simple as that. Since 2000, the Gates Cambridge Trust have made 800 full-cost graduate scholarships. Grants are only available to non-UK students who have gained a place at Cambridge through the regular admission process. We have students who are, come from, I think it's about 85 different countries overall. As a Gates scholar, I've been uh, exposed to many different cultures and religions and I've learned to uh, understand very different people. 1980. So I was born and raised in Zambia, lived there for 18 years. I'm actually half French, half Australian, but I was born in Thailand and lived there for 18 years. The challenge we sometimes have is we fail to understand it was an education in itself to be able to discuss with people what their concerns were in their own countries and how they were hoping to go back and actually influence um, the policies that their governments made. The Trust places a great emphasis on building relationships between scholars. It resources a three-day orientation programme. It also provides a suite of multi-purpose rooms in central Cambridge for events, studying and networking. We have these lovely rooms uh, for the Gates Scholars. This is a very uh, valuable uh, facility that we have and it, it, it plays a serious part in developing a sense of sort of community. The Gates Scholarship was great at providing a, a forum for people to get together um, through events but also just through say the community feeling that was generated very quickly. The scheme is open to students from any discipline and between them they have a rich diversity of interests ranging from neuroscience to music to international human rights. The Trust actively fosters and supports students in organising academic forums where a truly interdisciplinary debate can take place.
The Gates Cambridge Trust was very encouraging of, of taking an interdisciplinary approach. So when I had this background in music, it actually felt, felt uh, quite natural to apply that to examining questions about the brain. Enormous opportunities to interact with uh, people from various disciplines, and especially in international studies. You can't be limited just to scholars from international studies. You have to work with lawyers, economists, and so on and so forth. And I think Cambridge is very good in that. You sort of get to exist in a plane that allows you to float through different societies in Cambridge University. I work on genetics of diabetes, which has almost nothing to do with any of these talks. But even then, I'm thinking, oh, look at development. This is so incredibly exciting. You know, Is there any way I could link that with my subject? And I think it's those kind of connections that are really important. Every night of the week, one of the Gates scholars is saying to someone else, hey, come over to my college for our special thing. And besides some Bump, random bumping into them, I wouldn't have known about that thing. So I, I feel like I have access to this super experience of Cambridge, which is, um, which is great in its own right, and it allows me to say what it is about Cambridge that I find so wonderful. Once, I remember there was a lecture organized uh, by uh, Stephen Hawking <laughs> for Gates Scholars, <laughs> which is something extremely, extremely amazing. And uh, also I remember going to uh, lectures by Nobel uh, Prize winners in physics and in chemistry as well. Getting the Gates Scholarship was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Coming to Cambridge has changed my life completely. I have a sense of commitment to other people that I don't think I would have gotten without the experiences I had as a Gates Scholar.